it's buried, it's hung there and it died. And he was buried, of course, after he died. And he took our sins to the grave with him. But when he came out of the grave alive, he came out justifying us in the sight of God. And he's alive forevermore. Jesus is alive. Jesus is Lord. Jesus will save if we will invite him into our hearts, if we'll ask him. If you want salvation, the only place you're going to get it is from Jesus. So are you saved today? Do you know Jesus? Have you invited him into your heart? Have you obeyed God's commandments and did all of these things that he asked you to do? Have you turned from your wicked ways? I don't know. I hope you have. I hope everyone here is walking upright in the sight of God. I hope they're doing everything they can know to please God, that they know Jesus as a personal Savior. I hope you know it. I hope you're saved. But if you're not, now is the time to make that change and receive it in your heart. Acknowledge that you're guilty. Acknowledge that you're not able to save yourself. Humble yourself before God. Don't be ashamed. Everybody in here that's saved one time or another had to make that commitment to Jesus. They had, we had to acknowledge that we couldn't make it on our own and we needed help. So there's no stigma to it. It's receiving Jesus. There's, don't let pride stand in your way. A lot of people are. A lot of people say, well, I'm too old to walk down the aisle. I, I make a spectacle of myself. No, you won't. Jesus will rejoice. The angels in heaven will rejoice when you receive Jesus as Savior. And the church will rejoice with you. I hope that you're saved today. I hope you know Jesus. But if you know, now is your time. Come to Jesus. He wants to give you everlasting life. He wants to save you. He wants to forgive all of your sins. He wants to be your Savior. Will you have him? Let's pray. Father, we thank you that Jesus loves us. We thank you that you care for us. And we thank you that uh, we can have everlasting life because of him. I pray, Father, that all of these here might know you as their Savior. But if there's one that doesn't, I pray that even now they would invite you into their heart and that they make a public profession of their faith. Thy will be done in this invitation, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's stand together as we sing. Please turn to hymn number 294. Have thine own way, Lord.
thank you for your attendance today. I hope that we have been a blessing to you. And I hope that you'll go out here and be a blessing to somebody else. Uh, I'll go back to the break if you would switch to some prayer. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for the message that we have heard. Get ready to depart from your house, Lord. We pray that the word that you heard today will go with us in our heart and we seek out to be a blessing to others. We pray, Lord, until we come together again, that you would keep us, guide us, Lord, keep us out of harm's way. We want to make this day of our lives into your hands. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 This is the day.